Yo, what's up with it, YouTube? It's your boy Rebuke, man, and let me tell you, I have never, ever, 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 ever heard of anything like this before in my life. Check this out. And shout out to Mr. Garcia for bringing us this story. Drag queen on RuPaul's Drag Race accused of raping production assistant after crew party. So, right, this man right here raped a production assistant. assistant. Let's get into these details. A drag queen star contestant of RuPaul's Drag Race show was accused of raping a production assistant after a crew party in 2020. He, he sodomized this dude, right? The accusations were reported from a lawsuit against Darius Jeremy Pierce, a man who performs under the stage name Shangela. Daniel McGarrigle uh, filed a lawsuit in the Los Angeles Superior Court on Wednesday, according to the Los Angeles Times. The victim alleged that Pierce bought drinks for the crew at the party many times, including McGarrigle. He then allegedly invited Matt Garrigle back to his hotel room to help him pack for an early morning flight. The lawsuit says Matt Garrigle fell asleep fully dressed in Pierce Hotel Room in Louisiana. When he awoke, he claims that his pants had been pulled down and Pierce was trying to penetrate him. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, this devil. Matt Garrigle said that he yelled, no! in protest and tried to fight him off, but was allegedly overpowered. So he was overpowered by a man in a dress. I know you want it and you're going to take it. Pierce is a man <laughs> say I replied. I'm not laughing because this is funny. I'm laughing because look how disturbing this is. This man is trying to take this other man's booty, right? And he tells this man why he's overpowering him. I know you want it and you're going to take it. <laughs> Pierce is the last thing I replied. I tried to fight him off, but I was weak and he was stronger than me and he held me down, Mac Garrigle said in a Zoom interview with the Times. The lawsuit against Pierce alleges sexual assault, gender violence, false imprisonment, and sexual harassment. Where's the criminal charges? That's what I want to know. Pierce issued a lengthy response to his attorney passionately denying the allegations. I can't begin to explain how hurt and disgusted I am by these totally untrue allegations. They are personally offensive and perpetuate damaging stereotypes that are harmful not only to me, but also to my entire community. And party said, I, I don't know about that. Because I don't think a person would be filing a lawsuit like that if it wasn't true. And with you being transgender like that, you like booty anyway. You know, it's my guess. Maybe he like booty, maybe he don't. But I, I think we can draw our own conclusions when it comes to that, right? An external investigation into this embittered in individual's claim previously concluded that they were completely without merit, Pierce continued. This newest filing is nothing but an attempt to shake down both me and the well-regarded television company. No one should be fooled. It has no basis in fact or in law, and it will not succeed. Now... <clears throat> Excuse me. This is coming from a man that's dressed up as a woman. Okay? Now, when when we if I'm just my humble opinion, if you a man thinking you a woman, then then something's wrong with your mentality anyway. If you a man in woman's clothing, something is wrong with your mentality anyway. And that's just a fact. Oh man, I'm trying to tell you. Wow. Wow. I don't even want to hear what this dude sounds like, so I'm not going to play that clip. If you guys want to go over there to YouTube and find a clip of this dude right here, this man that allegedly raped a man, held him down, pulled his pants down, and what did he say? What did he say? The dude said he said, I know you want it, and you're going to take it. <laughs> man. How how terrible and scary is that? I know you want it, and you're going to take it. See? See? And it just makes you think, are some people, 
a danger to society like this. Because YouTube, I cover a lot of these stories. And it's not just males doing these things. I covered a story about a week ago where a grown woman, I think she was 40, 41 years old, she dressed a little boy up in, in a dress and high heels, put lotion on his pee pee, and then sexually assaulted that little boy. I think the little boy was like 13, 11 years old. He was definitely a minor. So you have men and women that's doing these disgusting acts like this. You know? And I wasn't there. So I can't confirm that it happened and I'm, or it didn't happen. And I'm glad I wasn't there because I don't get down like that. I don't travel down a muddy road. But what I'm saying is that this man, he did file a lawsuit alleging that this dude right here sodomized him against his will. What do you think about that, YouTube? Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.